Part two now of my interview with Palm Springs City Manager, Justin Clifton. And while I have you, Justin, let me ask, the council recently voted to maintain the city's ban on timeshares in residential neighborhoods and asked the city attorney to rewrite ordinances to make the ban apply more explicitly to fractional ownership real estate company, Picasso. So let me ask you, is Picasso a timeshare company and what is the right policy for the city? So I, I think the lawyers involved may disagree, but I defer to our city attorney that says that Picasso does meet the definition of our timeshare ordinance. That said, part of the reason to revise that ordinance is to clear up any and all ambiguity. I wanna to emphasize too, that that doesn't mean that there will never be space in the real estate market for businesses like Picasso. Uh, we heard a lot of discussion among our city council members about how rules and regulations might make this kind of activity um, acceptable for our community. But until we come up with those rules and until we engage Picasso and come up with something that we think um, would work, not just for them, but for other new copycat businesses that might have the same model, we want to make sure that um, we're on top of things. So initially, we're going to revise the ordinance, and then we're going to engage in a conversation in good faith about rules and regulations. And we may come to an agreement where we can essentially remove the ban and, and have um, other policies in place that are is, is more uh, permissible. But right now, the ban is to ensure that this doesn't um, grow out of control before we have an opportunity to really consider it carefully. Anything else, Justin, you'd like to say before I let you go? Seems like a lot's going on right now in Palm Springs. There's a lot going on. We've got a lot of work to do, and we're hard at work. All right. Justin, as always, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.